YouTube, we're back. Lenny Sly, Combative Concepts, is a Warrior Academy. You're watching the Road Warrior Channel. <laughs> like in the last video, we did the four hand deflections that you use during a Rondori. Just like I said, we're gonna show you in this next video two of the Nage Waza techniques that's used within the Tenshin Rondori. If people don't know what Nage Waza means, Nage means to throw. Basically throwing Waza, uh, throwing techniques. So we're gonna show you two, we're gonna show you Koki Nage, we're gonna show you Sumi Atoshi today. Uh, the next video, obviously, we're gonna show you the other two. You'll be able to see that at the end of the video. We'll have a couple highlight clips and you'll have something to look forward to. So, <clears throat> one thing I wanna make clear really quick is that in the tension style of Aikido, the way we do Rondori is a lot different than what the traditional people, the traditional Aikido people do in Rondori. That's more based on, you know, moving in and out of your opponents as, the, as your bouquets, your attackers are coming at you. Um, so you're basically trying to weave in and out and not be clipped, not be grabbed, so on and so forth. Also in traditional Aikido, there's a lot of striking that's involved in the Rondor. You see a lot of Shomenuchi strikes, a lot of Yokomenuchi strikes, as well as grabs. Well, in our style of Rondori, in Tenshin Aikido, the only attack that's really used during our Rondori, you have the Nage Rondori, which is basically showing all the throwing techniques within the Rondori. There is no striking that's involved because it's the way how I look at it or view it is more of an exercise on how to deploy each uh, throwing technique within the Rondori, as well as incorporating your hand deflections within it, Rondori. The Rondori that we use on Don testing is basically a smear the prayer without the ball. You got three guys that are lined up on one side of the dojo, you got the person that's actually doing the Rondori himself. Uh, the sensei yells out Hajime, which means attack. The three guys jump up off the mat, onto their feet, they attack the Nage at full speed, 100% beat down. It's, it's pretty brutal. It's, like I said, it's smear the quiver without, without the ball. It's a pretty hardcore Rondori. Um, it's not practiced uh, very widely in traditional Aikido, because in a sense it's kind of dangerous. Um, because it's, it's taken very seriously with us with an attention rondori. There's a lot that goes into that rondori. There's a lot of inner workings in that rondori that a lot of people don't understand. And when we do the beat down rondori video, I'm gonna go into more detail about that, but the reasons why we do this and how you benefit from it. But today, today's video is basically gonna be on the two, like I said, the two Nage Waza uh, throws that are in the rondori, where there's four that we use. But I'm going to demonstrate those two, go into a little bit of an explanation of that, and we'll call it a day at that point, move on to the next video. Uh, so with that being said, my UK Frank, hi, Like I talked about how, the, how we do right now, the attack that's usually done with us is shoulder grab or mune dory, so as he comes in, it's strong. Okay, it's not, you know, flimsy to where you start doing this and the hands start going over the place. There has to be intent behind the attack. On top of it, it can't be a zombie-like attack. It can't be a Frankenstein, like, you know, so you're doing this. That's not effective. On top of that, when people do that type of technique, you have fingers easy. And you can use Yubi Dori within Ron Dory as well to submit your, uh, submit your opponents. But in this particular exercise of Ron Dory, this type of training in Ron Dory, you don't want to attack like that. So your attack is not already um, telegraphed. You start to attack and then your hands go off to grab or shove. <clears throat> In this case, because this is a training video for people that want to learn how to use this type, type of technique in their rondori or train in this type of rondori, the attack is going to have intent, but the intent isn't going to be to grab. It's to give an honest attack to where then you can learn how to throw by using these techniques. So the first one we're gonna do is Kokunage. So as he comes and grabs, the idea behind this is that you wanna cut the hand into your center. So when you cut down and you cut up, the hand that goes up, I see this done a lot in training where people push the arm over the head, becomes very ineffective at that point. The idea is to cut through their hasushi, their ankle, to where you throw, okay? Their center angle is this. A strong stance piece. Okay, I haven't done this yet, so I'm gonna uh, go into detail about this. This is strong, strong frame. This is real strong. He can resist against this pretty easy. You're leaning a little bit too much wider stance, please. No, front leg in front. 
So strong stance, he's strong stance. He's strong there, right? So if I come up behind him, he's strong this way, straight up. He's strong this way too, okay? Here's the hop you You're cutting through the angle of this. It's very easily done on both sides. Okay? As I push in his chest, he goes back on his heels. As I push on his back, he goes on the balls of his feet. So when this technique is actually being done, okay, you're cutting through this. And then the elbow goes across his hostage and throw. Okay? Goes across. Okay? And this can be done in multi or ura. The multi is to the front, a multi. Front, rock, to the rear. Okay? So, like I said, as the technique comes in, you want to cut this. Proper spine alignment is important as well. If you're, if you're focusing on this and you're bent, and over, you're bent over, you're struggling to do this, it becomes very difficult to do. This is one of those Aikido techniques that comes across very effortlessly when it's done right, and obviously the inner workings is what makes it look effortless. If you know how to cut the angle, you know how to cut through the hostage of uke, disrupt or balance, you become successful. You could also do this to where you're actually tripping them as you throw, so they can't take a step, or make sweep. Okay, go slow. So from here, you can step right into here, and apply a leg sweep to throw this. In a Rondori setting, what you have to watch out for is you have three attackers in Rondori. Some dojos, some organizations have four. Depends when you start getting up there in Don ranking when you test for like a third or a fourth Don. You might have five people there attacking, five bouquets. <clears throat> You're not gonna be doing a beat down Rondori in that. Most Aikido organizations, especially the traditional ones, don't do a beat down Rondori. Most of the Shihan just look for the movement, seeing that you're controlling the room, controlling your attackers. With that being said, we kind of step it up a little bit of a notch and go the whole 10 yards with this and pound on the Nage. It's kind of like almost like an initiation when you test for your Shodan and you take, you do Rondori, you take your Kenny for the guy that's testing, your goal is to really beat the shit out of that guy, in all honesty. When that guy's done with his Rondori, his gi's all over the place, his hakam is barely on, it's, uh, it's pretty brutal. I mean, I've seen guys with busted lips, bloody noses, uh, gi's are completely gone. It just, it is what it is. So, again, so. That's Koku Nage. Sumiyatoshi is the second one. Sumiyatoshi means corner drop. So from a Katate Dori application, you're going to corner drop, but you're going to stretch them out. You're going to cut on the elbow, and you're going to push down. So if you think the four corners of a square, as you do this, I'm going to be hitting that corner as I throw. This one. Now, a multi version of this would be this 10 conversion, then going and This is not applicable in a Rondori set. So no one's going to be holding onto your wrist when you do this. Same thing, it's going to be done from the shoulder shove, double shoulder shove, mune, uh, mune dori, rokata dori, a lot of lines of that. So, from, so as it comes into attack, you're gonna advance forward on this. One more time, please. Okay, one more. You can almost do this one-handed. This comes in to where you throw. And you can do this ura version as well. Okay, that's Sumiyatoshi. Don't really need to go into a lot of detail about that. Pretty much, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to show you five, ten second version of hand deflections with the two uh, throwing techniques that we just showed. So from your kata, so we're just going to walk through this. So slow, 
Sokovi u Kanegaši. Koki nage. Sumije toši. Koki nage. U Kanegaši. Koki nage. Sumije toši. Koki nage. Sumije toši. A little winded, huh? So, as you can see, it takes a lot out of your ruke when they attack you and you're throwing around for five, ten minutes apiece. So, with that being said, work on your kokunage, work on your sumiyotoshi, hand deflections, work it all together. You know, hand deflection, hand deflection, throw, hand deflection, throw, 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 hand deflection, hand deflection. Change it up. You know, make it work for you. Has to be explosive, has to be fast, but you can work at it slow. That's pretty much about it. That wraps up for this video. Uh, we'll have the next two techniques, probably in a week or so, we'll have another video shot of the next two of the Rondori, uh, Nage Waza techniques. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe to our videos on the Road Warrior channel. I'm Len Slide, Combative Concepts, Isla's Warrior Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.